How do you go from a break fix IT model over to a full managed service provider where you're updating, patching, and really helping your customers get the most out of their services all while still getting paid on a monthly recurring revenue basis. My name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs with sales training and marketing. Before I dive into today's video, I do have to mention, as always, two quick things. Number one is there is a masterclass down below. If you haven't gone through it yet, I would highly, highly, highly recommend going through it, as well as a bunch of super helpful resources as well down there. Second is come hang out with us in the Discord. We are growing like a weed. It is honestly the coolest thing. We I might even argue to say we might be the fastest growing MSP community online, especially for business owners that are looking to grow and sales people. So let's talk about getting into all of this. I forgot to mention, if you'd like to join the Discord, it is growth-generators.com forward slash Discord. And I apologize, allergies are ruining my day. But let's talk about going from that break fix model and going through it, you know what it's like. The client brings in the computer and says, hey, I need this fixed, or hey, my email's not working, can you fix it? It's kind of a bummer because you know that, well, yeah, you're gonna get paid for it, you're not making that monthly recurring revenue that you really want, and on top of that, it's always a struggle every single time. It's a completely new environment. Things have probably changed. You, they might have broken something that could have easily, easily been avoided. So how do you actually go through this entire process? And how do you go from that one-off invoicing over to that monthly recurring revenue? And I'm gonna share with diagrams and other businesses as an example. But the first and the most important thing before you do anything is you kind of got to look in the mirror. You have to see what are you actually capable of? Are you capable of providing these services? Now, if you're a one man shop, it will be a little more difficult to go into the managed services world. However, there are tons and tons of people doing it. The discord's literally loaded with them. That's you can a hundred percent do it, but that's the coolest part about all of this. But you really have to think to yourself is, is this something that you could realistically do for you and for your clients? Because it is a massive, massive shift that you're actually about to go through and experience. The second part is, is what kind of products and services are you going to actually offer? That's a big thing that most people think, well, I could just be available for a phone call to actually go support that. But you have to get an RMM. You have to get a PSA tool. If you're the only business owner, you probably need some kind of CRM to keep track of deals and all that kind of stuff. But you need to develop an actual services offering. If you haven't already seen it, I would highly recommend going and checking out some of the videos I made as far as packaging and pricing, but really understanding what you can package and price. I'm gonna share my screen really quick for kind of an MSP chart slash MSP map of what you could offer. Now, more than likely, you're probably starting off in the column all the way over here to the left where we have one-time services, new PC setup, computer tune-up, software install. Yes, the spelling is completely messed up. There's something that happened with the formatting, but you want to go through and get over to the rest of it where you're offering server support, cloud services, help desk support, backup and recovery. All of those areas are actually really possible and doable for you as you grow the business, but you have to fully understand what are you capable of? If you have little to no networking experience, it's gonna be kind of difficult taking over an environment that might not suit your needs. So once again, identifying those key capabilities, and if you had to go in, is that something you feel comfortable with? Some of you guys might say, absolutely, I could 100% crush it, and others, you might say, I'm not quite there yet, and that's okay. There's plenty of solutions, hiring employees, getting training, whatever you feel might actually be necessary. Next is gonna be starting to, what I kind of already mentioned, invest in technology and training. You need that RMM tool, you need that PSA tool, you wanna be able to remote monitor and manage. That's what your RMM and PSA tool do for you. If you'd like, I do recommend one in particular, but there's plenty of great options out there just because my experience with them has been pretty fantastic. If you'd like to check out SuperOps, I will leave a link down below, but they are a RMM and PSA tool. I'll share my screen here, but just so you guys can make sure you get it. It's extremely competitively priced. It does all of the RMM and PSA 
tools and, and tips and tricks that you really want to use. There's plenty of other good ones. You have a Terra, you have ConnectWise, Synchro, the list goes on and on and on. But I would recommend doing your own homework. This is, happens to be the one that I absolutely love, full transparency. I love them so much. I asked to go be an affiliate that yes, you do help me out if you do decide to use it. But in all transparency, I wouldn't have been an affiliate if I didn't think it was that great. I genuinely think it's a fantastic, fantastic platform. But once you actually go through this, you get your tools. We've already talked about your pricing, right? But now you have to, or better yet, your packaging. But now we have to figure out the pricing because typically MSPs have tiers. There's usually good, better, best across the board. It does not matter where you're actually going with this, but sometimes you want to just put on antivirus, some of your basic tools, and make sure that that computer isn't going to get hacked on the off chance, which is fine. Other clients of yours, you might want to go all out. I'm going to give you unlimited on-site. Anything that happens, give us a call 24 by seven by 365 or 360. Take a few days off out of the year, but do what you feel comfortable with and charge appropriately. I do have a free pricing calculator. There's a training down below in the masterclass that you'll get typically about 20 minutes through that training to show you the different pricing models and businesses that you could actually use through there, figure out what works best for you, the different packages that are going to work, the tools that you're going to need, and ultimately how much you can charge every single month to make things happen. After you go through that, you got to come up with a marketing and sales strategy. There's no doubt about it. I'm going to share with you guys my, my current favorite MSP website, but if we go in through here, we'll see VC3. I think they do a fantastic job. And what I mean by that is they clearly label who they're trying to target. They talk all about getting started, why you might want to choose the company. There's tons of good things. There's so, there's just social monials, I'll call them, social testimonials that you can use, and, and they do a fantastic job when it comes to this kind of stuff. But what I think is more important is when you actually go to industries, there's only six industries. Yes, businesses is a bit more generic, but if you really think about it, it's healthcare, manufacturing, aerospace and defense, local government services, and municipalities. That's really five plus businesses for the general stuff. Now, this is a 500 plus person company. At least that's what it says on their LinkedIn. So having a good, strong marketing strategy, knowing who your target customer is, is really helpful. If you're coming from that break fix model, you might think anybody can be, be your customer. Well, you're going to have to go through a massive mind shift to start getting and building up that recurring revenue. You wanna focus on one very specific customer. Now, if you have a ton of customers in one specific area, perfect. Start letting them know about your new packaging and your new services that you're gonna be offering. For example, if you're an MSP and you wanna take things to the next level, I have a program called MSP Heroes. There's a link down below. We'd love to have you join. It's a monthly membership. You get access to me. You get access to tons of, all the trainings specifically, tons of resources, my advanced pricing calculator, and a whole bunch of other areas. But I'm letting you know, just like you need to let your clients know that this is where you're going with your business. And hey, it's probably hugely beneficial to them. Now, not everybody is going to be on board, but if you can find, hey, I have a, a lot of customers in this one specific area, you can build packages and services specifically for that type of customer. You're already probably in their environment more than you actually think it you are, but you have to let them know, believe it or not, most MSPs that are in this transition don't say a word. They don't even let their client. They're like, I could never tell them. Don't. You run a business and you want to help them. I know this because you guys are booking discovery calls with me or going in the Discord asking these questions. You want to offer them. You just have to mention it. Pick up this little device. Call them email them, let them know what's going on and how you can help them. They genuinely want it, but you have to tell them, hey, this is my pricing, this is my packaging, this is how we do the sale. It's gonna go through a bit of a discovery phase, there's gonna be a little bit more I need to learn about you guys, what's going good, what's going bad. If you had a wish list of things I could take care of, that would be really, really helpful. And then you can say, hey, you're gonna sign up, this is what we're gonna do, this is the plan of action, this is the onboarding process, by the way, there's an onboarding checklist or cheat sheet in MSP Heroes. 
and going through that whole area and then giving them the option to say, hey, I want to put cash in your hand. Movie theater money, by the way. But that's really the benefit of going through this whole process, just like these guys. Yes, they have a little bit more of a generic approach, which is rare, but because they are so big, it does work well for them. But figure out that sales and marketing strategy that you want to use that's going to help you ultimately grow. And then after that, start to transition. Make that offer. Transition them over. Hey, by the way, maybe you go through and you crunch their bills and you say, hey, you know what? Maybe you're using a software like Billways, by the way. It's a great software, especially for uh, MSPs. But if you're going through this whole area, pull up all their bills, go through it and say, I'm going to share my screen here, but say, Hey, you spent, I don't know, five, 10, $15,000 with us this year. It actually would have been cheaper if you just hired us or it would have been a touch more expensive, but we could have addressed all of your technology issues instead of some of them. But this is actually a really good platform because you could go through and see your customers, what you're actually invoicing. It's really, really nice. It gives a clean interface. And for small MSPs, it's a great way to invoice and begin to transition that over, especially if your PSA tool, your professional services automation tool, doesn't offer that billing process. You could pull through all those receipts and say, hey, let's get you transitioned over. It only makes sense. And last but not least, the kind of the most important thing, but not fully the most important thing, is you wanna cover your rear end. I know it's a, it's funny, but at the same time, you are entering into a monthly recurring bill with them. They are going to have expectations, whatever you decide to set them at, of here. You need to make sure that your legal agreement matches them here. And if you go above and beyond, great. But if you happen to fall back and things start to go crazy, you know that, hey, there's legal ramifications in place. I might have to give them money back, or at least the customer knows, hey, there's a legal agreement at the same level of my expectations. I know exactly what I'm going to get for every dollar that I spend with them. That's the most important thing. So if you're transitioning over, you really have to fully understand that. But let your customers know. Tell them about a new service that you're going to be offering, how much it's actually going to be. If they've been a really good client, maybe you give them a bit of a discount. If it's somebody completely new where you're like, hey, I really want this customer, I don't love discounting, but it's your business. Do whatever it takes to get the sale, to make the money, to ultimately come through and use one of the pricing calculators. So one, you don't lose money, you don't leave money on the table, but two, you're not losing money every single month. So I hope this video helps you guys. I hope that transition over becomes nice and easy. It's a smoother transition. I have a bunch of cool videos coming this week. I was just in Vegas. I have a Vegas video coming and a ton more content planned for the upcoming future. I appreciate that out of you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate you dealing with my um, the attack on my sinuses from uh, from allergy season here, and I will see you guys on the next one. If you have questions, please leave them down below. If I missed anything, if you're coming from that break fix model and you're struggling, I'd love to hear about it, and maybe I can make a video to address it. Other than that, come hang out with us in the Discord. Check out the links down below. Love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye.